And four Siders standing out in front of the state capitol, and Floridians are now set for another billion dollar tax break. That's after Governor Ron DeSantis signed the policy into law Tuesday morning. But some lawmakers think more could have been done to help the state with an affordability crisis. Whether it's Lori Lanny in Royal Palm dreading her bills. Are you happy with your insurance right now? No, and I don't know how anyone could be happy when it's gone from $1,700 to $5,500. Or Jesus Romero in Pinellas County struggling to find an affordable home. Try to get the budgeting, not just to afford the house, but also be the nightmare of what's been going with the insurance. High costs remain a dark spot in the Sunshine State. Though Tuesday, Florida's governor signed a new more than billion dollar tax break he and the legislature think will help. Its top line provision, a year long waiver of insurance premium taxes on homeowners and flood insurance policies, plus a lot more. <laughs> Sales tax holidays on disaster prep, back to school supplies, power tools, even summer recreation. <laughs> Companies getting breaks too, tax credits for hiring those with disabilities, offering child care, or making donations to child welfare programs. DeSantis saying it'll all help offset high inflation. We don't, Lord knows we don't behave like Congress behaves and we don't control the printing presses up there. So we have to just deal, play the hand we're dealt, uh, given what's happened in Washington. So we've taken a lot of steps over these past three years in particular uh, to provide relief for Floridians. The tax break bill got unanimous approval from the legislature earlier in the year. And while everyone agreed the cuts will help, Democrats said it wasn't enough, especially that break on insurance taxes, which amounts to only 1.75 percent. What might amount to like less than a cable bill for a homeowner is going to be hundreds of millions of dollars for the property insurance industry. So to me, it's a lot of mispriorities and misprioritization. The next step is for those cuts to take effect, some coming online July 1st, the rest at time-specific moments throughout the year. And an update to a story we brought you earlier in the week. Governor Ron DeSantis during that press conference also said he was not calling for a special session, although he would support one on immigration if lawmakers were to move forward. However, that now sounds more and more unlikely as we get closer and closer to Memorial Day. That's the latest out here at the state capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders.